Greetings everyone, CCX here, and welcome to another weekend LP. It's not going to be in conjunction with Chrono Cross, I promise you. This is a weekend RPG. What this means is that this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy part each time. Because, you know, it's, it's being recorded during, it's being uploaded during the week. Saturday and Sunday, specifically. So, you guys are wondering what this game is. Wow, there's a lot of... You know what? Just enjoy the opening. Welcome to Grandia, or Grandia, whatever how you want to pronounce the game. The game's name keeps changing. Grandia, Grandia, for the PlayStation 1. This game is a unique RPG of mine back in the day, and it's basically one of those games that's going to be something else in terms of adventure. So without me, you know, bullcrapping, let's just go on with the uh, cutscene. Also, there's voice acting, so enjoy!
Why did the opening play more than once? I mean, it's a different opening in pictures, but I never really understood that. All right, let me shut up now, because this is one of my favorite games, but holy crap, I am going to have some issues in playing it. I guess I must have dozed off. I had that dream again. The bastards, they're hounding me. Mullen, where are we now? It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Ball. I keep telling you, Mullen. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me, but Lieutenant Lean is still here. Oh, <laughs> it's just like you to answer like that. But you know that Lean is a very special part of our military plans, aren't you, Lean? The third excavation of the salt runes is almost finished. I'm counting on you too. Mullen, lean. We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. I'm sure that we'll hear good news. The current time is 1340 hours. Now passing through Parm airspace. Our ETA is 1530 hours. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. This'll teach you, you punk! Oh! Oh, Justin! Not you again! You just don't learn trashing my shed again! I didn't trash it! Why won't you listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk! Now you've completely trashed it. 
Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? Ouch. That awful man, he never ever understands. Justin! Justin, Justin! You okay? That sounded like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry. A punch like that, nothing to it. For a first-rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Right. So how'd it go? Did you find anything in the shed? Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. But Sue, what about you? Of course I found something. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. I found it all by myself. Oh, yeah. Puppy helped, too. Here you go, Justin, the legendary armor. Great, Sue. That's the first one. That leaves... The Shield of Light, the Warrior's Helmet, and the Spirit Sword. Don't forget, we gotta get them by sundown or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful god. You know, it's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better take responsibility. Okay, I know, I know. Come on. Let's go show this to Gantz. Puffy, let's go too. <laughs> we found it, Gantz. Oh. The first treasure. All right, now. <clears throat> oh, sorry, now we're finally. <clears throat> crap, my throat. Uh, all right, now we're finally actually playing the game. How about that voice acting, though? I would say that the voice acting in this game is really good. It's not too bad because when I played it like um, two times, it's the, well, three times, I'll go into the story as to why three times is my limit. Taking a sweet time, aren't you first-rate adventurer? The end of the world was found and there's no use for adventurers. You're way behind the times. There is no end of the world, huh? You don't even know that. You're a first-rate adventurer. There's no way we're going to find four treasures before sundown. This duel is as good as one. As you promised, our right, tomorrow, Sue is in my gang. And I, Guns, will take her as my bride. Okay. That's kind of weird. I'm actually glad that the text is actually at the bottom and not at the top. Ugh. We found the legendary armor. And with that, what we're supposed to really do, we're supposed to go and go around the entire town that we're in and find these legendary nonsense of ridiculousness, which are basically cooking items. This is the legendary helmet. The warrior's helmet, I should say. But overall, the camera can be co controlled with R1 and L1. And relatively enough, you see that compass there? That only, that will show you the direction of where you're supposed to go in dungeons. In Pacific areas, I should say. Because not all dungeons have you, um, not all dungeons, the compass will tell you where to go. So don't suspect that that's going to really, you know, help you in any way. Alright, so the next one we need to find is the legendary, actually, you know what? We can actually talk to Gun so he can actually tell us where it is. Ah, yes, we found the warrior. Two remaining. But the shield of light and the spirit sword. Find the shield first. The shield of light, it's in the place where you always hear seagulls squawking. Oh, okay. That's convenient. Basically near the sea. Not outside the sea. You could actually um, exit this town, but it won't really... Oh, actually, no. I think you are supposed to exit the town. Ah, great. His memory is being shot again. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. All right. Yeah, okay. We are supposed to come out here. There it is. 
the shield of light. That was like a shield. Come on, let's pick it up. And we obtain the pot lid. This is a save point. Unique to the save point are, well, the, the hint, the com well, here's the thing. The compass at the top right of the screen has a red mark showing north. The compass needle points to the destination. Spinning faster is the closer to your destination. You can press the R2 and L2 button to change the destination. Basically, you could change it if you wanted to find the exit, want to find the other Pacific areas and all that other stuff. It works well in dungeons, which we'll be going to a lot. And also, it allows you, it also recovers all of your HP and I think your SP. In the next episode, I will be going into more detail about the menu of Grandia. But for now, there's nothing for me. I don't need to really talk about it yet because there's no point and it doesn't have any significance as of yet. We found the damn shield of light, you bastard. Take it. Found the shield of light, too. I guess you got the three treasures. The three of the four treasures. You won't find the last one, the spirit sword. But we didn't see anything like a sword anywhere. So where's the sword exactly? Listen close, Justin. The spirit sword is in the treasure chest of my house. But it's locked, so you can't open it. Here's the catch. Where do you think the key is? The key to the treasure chest? Hmm. Hey Justin, that is simple for a treasure for an adventure to open a treasure chest. No, it's simple for a thief, but all right. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. Anyways, we have to actually find the key. But the thing is, is that we can't really find the key until we find Gats or whatever his name's his brother. Oh, now I remember. Gats gave it to Tense after lunch. Go find Tense and ask him. Thanks. Also, not all the characters have portraits, so don't think that you're going to be seeing every um, portrait of every single character. Only the important people will have um, portraits. And you'll know who is important just by, you know, looking at them. Now, I guess I should, since I'm doing this, I should... Oh, here it is. Whoa, calm it down, dude. I can't. Oh, you lost the key. Okay, you actually have to say that you'll tell you'll tell him. I lost the key to his treasure chest. Now, nah, see, you lost the key. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, let's go ahead and look for it. Good coffee and beautiful women. Yes, this must be what they mean by truthful advertising. <laughs> It's true that Miss Krillin is beautiful, but Justin, you haven't even tasted the coffee. Uh, here it is. Yeah, that's it. I'm so glad you found it. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, no problem. I'll never forget this, Justin. Well, I'll definitely remember until the day after tomorrow. Oh, um, all right. That's, um, that's cool. And we got the treasure chest key. So, we are supposed to really say that we beat the crap out of you. Oh, at least his brother, his little, little brother's not a douche. Alright, let's go back to Gantz's house. And let's go ahead and pick up said Ama, shall we? I mean, the legendary sword. There it is. This sequence could be a little bit confusing at best, because sometimes you could go ahead and get... You can literally just get, like, sidetracked, but, eh. And the wooden sword. By the way, all those items that we collected are actual items that we can equip. So don't think that they're just for show. They are actual items. Alright. Let's go ahead and show again that we have this wonderful thing. Oh, what is happening here? Why do you guys keep pulling these pranks all the time? Look at that, Sue. Greg is telling Gats off. You know, it's weird how... Every NPC, almost every NPC in this game, all have actual names. Who knew? Yeah, get wrecked, douche. Da -da 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 -da. Aren't you two playing together? No, 
what is this playing you speak of? Surely you jest. There's no way I'd be caught dead playing with cats. That's right, Craig. Sir, we just happen to be passing by. Of course you wouldn't. There's no way I gets would be playing with Justin. So you rather get in trouble on your own. Oh, and time to go. I would say that the graphics of this, the sprites for the characters remind me of Final Fantasy Tactics for the PlayStation. I'm wondering if that's probably the inspiration for the game's artwork. It's just that all the regular things you do are bad. That's why no one believes you. Oh, that's great. Now it's time to meet Justin's mother. Hey, Justin! Ouch! Mom! What did I do? How many times do I have to tell you? No dirty shoes in the kitchen. Even so, you don't have to hit me with your tray. Don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Seagull Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have work to do. Out you go. My little troublemaker. You could at least help if you're going to be in the kitchen. Hello, Aunt Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. Justin's brain can't get any worse than it already is. Mom! I'm hurt. How could you say such things about your only darling son? <laughs> well, why don't you just be good so I don't have to, hmm, Justin? I've been getting in trouble all day today. Hey, you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, he will. Even if I tell the truth, you still get mad. Ah, just like actual moms. <laughs> tell me straight, what exactly were you doing? I wasn't doing anything I asked you, even if I get into mischief every day, right? That's right. Just didn't do anything bad today. You gotta believe me. Yeah, well, he wasn't nearly as bad as the day before yesterday. And whack in the head. I thought so. Didn't I tell you to tell the truth? I just can't believe this kid. You listening? I don't know what you did, but don't get into mischief. Now, oh, whatever. Come. And with that, we can go ahead and um, continue on with the cutscene. Now, the thing about Grandia is that... And they bring this staple in every other Grandia, in, some, um, in every other Grandia. Basically, it's resting, where you essentially are, you see your characters eating. And in all honesty, it reminds me of what they're doing with Final Fantasy 15, with the whole, you get to have a conversation and stuff. And you won't be able to progress with the game until you at least gotten... If they repeat the dialogue, is all I can say, that's when you're done. That's when you go back to the character and um, go to sleep. I won't really speak in these cutscenes because in all honesty, these would be very, very long. Because they start to get long once other characters start to come into play. But that being a spirit stone, but you know, when I first met him, he always wore it around his neck. It's really special. Ha, huh, can you tell me? Oh boy, here we go. First man on board a ship on the night with no moon or waves. It was a very quiet night. But suddenly pirates appear and took over your dad's ship in a wake of an eye. By the way, you want to know who the pirate is? Well, she's going to tell you. The leader of the band of pirates got a look at the spirit stone that your dad wore around his neck. The pirates drew a sword and said, Give me that stone! But your dad obstinately refused. Wow, that's just like that. What happened then? Struck by the courage of your dad, the pirate leader decided to give up being a pirate on the spot. The pirate attacked dad. What was, what was he like? Maybe a strong man of the sea type. 
I don't know, the pirate was a girl just your age. A beauty named Lily the Skull. I've heard that name somewhere. Lily's your mom. <laughs> ah, you finally noticed. I was pretty young then. I did a lot of things I regret. Yeah, that's right. Justin's mom is a pirate. <laughs> Justin's dad is an adventurer and his mom's a pirate. Man, JRPG family are the best. Especially when they make no sense. And of course, there's always the trope of not having a father in play of the game. Why do they insistently keep doing that? I'm just making sure that all the dialogue has been met. Okay, now I think we can go to sleep. No, I'm full. We're done here. The creator. The Carter. Nah, I think it's the creator. Curator. Sure, why not? Can I open this? An adventurer can't be forgetting such important things. Well, maybe I can go through the menu right now. So I just go to the Angelo Civilization myself. Today I threw three cats into the old guy's yard. He got surprised and knocked over all his potted plants. Feel sort of sorry about what I did, so I've been thinking. <laughs> I really did think about what I did. The poison antidote. My god. Like, seriously? You have like a bunch of stuff with you? <laughs> Alright. This here is the storage, stashing place. Basically, you can stash all your items. That's going to be important because of two things. One, inventory in this game sucks. That's the reason why they give you four characters. In fact, I might as well just showcase the menu now. This is what the basic menu looks like as of right now. It will get... Here's the thing. Characters don't stack in this game. We will be meeting characters in this game, but some of them won't stay with us permanently. You'll see what I mean later on. Not about food. I ah, forget it. If it's not food, then what? What would mom like other than food? Your face is turning red. Ew, he's trying to hit on our mom. That's gross. Today's special is the surprise mushroom pasta. Coming up, one daily special. Uh, I didn't exactly order yet. Well, it's all good here, so why not? So you shouldn't turn red and say not no not at all or something okay let's get out of here these people are being creepy all right i'm actually gonna end the part here so in the next wonderful episode we'll be going to meet the creator or carter or whatever the hell his name is i'm in ccx and i hope you guys will enjoy this playthrough of grandia see us